Man, I sure hope that this place is good. They got a big old smoker out back. Right there. Little smokehouse back there. Oh, it smells so good. All right, Alabama barbecue reviews. Today I am at the shack, which is uh, right off of Stemley Bridge Road. Actually, right after you cross Stemley Bridge in uh, Pell City. Uh, run you through the scoring real quick. We give them a high school score, zero percent to 100 percent, with somewhere in the mid 70s being a pretty good barbecue. Uh, we only eat pork sandwiches. Well, we only score pork sandwiches. So uh, we don't do brisket. We don't do ribs. We don't do chicken. Keeping it apples to apples. The shack is a serious shack. It is a shack. It's an old log cabin with um, a train car attached to it. Not even a train car, a caboose, like a big red caboose. Uh, I'll get a picture of it. I'll show you what it looks like. But um, And then out back, they have a little smokehouse. It looks like at least two chimneys going uh, big rack of hickory back here. I'm, I'm looking right at it here. Uh, here, I'll turn around so you can see it. Here, look at that. See that smokehouse over there? It's a little bit hard to see, but uh, you can see the racks of wood. Um, and I've been wanting to come and try this place for a while now. So, today's the day. Uh, when they say that this place, when they call it the shack, man, this is a shack and this is the kind of places that I like. They have all the racing memorabilia on the inside. Uh, they have a bunch of train stuff on the inside and of course all the little pig tchotchkes you could hope for. Um, legit looking place though. And, uh, you know, I think what in Pell City so far, I think the highest score that I've given out is Fat Man's. Um, is Fat Man's the best? I don't know. Today, I'm going to try the Shack. They did ask me if I wanted hot or mild or sweet. Interesting. Uh, and I could see all three sauces on the table. The, so the uh, sweet was kind of a dark sauce. And both of the uh, other sauces were, looked like they were uh, tomato based. Yep, definitely tomato based. Big sandwich for $4. I mean a big sandwich for four dollars. Bun. Oh, look here. Okay. I like the looks of this sandwich. This is going to be a messy sandwich. But have a look here. It's chopped. It's got a good bit of uh, bark in there. Good bit of inside meat. Nice and pink. You can see the smoke. You can't help but smell the smoke. It's it's all over the road up here on Stemley Bridge Road. Uh, and your standard neon green crinkle cut pickles. So let's give this boy a taste. All right. The hot from the shack. very very smoky if you don't like a, a smoky barbecue you won't like this one there's a lot of smoke on that meat um, and you can see by the by the pink the smoke ring in there they put a lot of smoke on this meat um, Hmm. That's a different kind of barbecue. The sauce is not hot, first of all. Uh, I wouldn't say that that sauce is hot at all. Um, it's maybe, maybe a little spicy, but it's not as hot as Tabasco or anything like that. Hmm. Tomato base, it's nice and tangy. Um, Complements meat pretty well, actually, because there is, like I say, there is a lot of smoke on that meat. Um, very, very smoky sandwich. 
I gotta go one more. I'm just not sure what I think about this one. It's definitely a good barbecue sandwich. This is my neighborhood. I'd for sure stop in and get a bag of uh, sandwiches for the family. I'm gonna put the shack at a 77. I think that that's a good fair score. Uh, it's a good sandwich. It is a good sandwich. And um, you know, come out here and try it out. It's an interesting place if nothing else. I almost felt like I had to stoop over the whole time. The doors seem kind of low and I'm not that tall. I mean, I'm only, I'm just under six feet tall. So it's an interesting place. If you're out in this area, you should definitely try it out. But as always, that's just my two cents and your mileage may vary.